Hello guys, welcome back to Foresight Institute. We can remember in the last video we talked about the introduction of HTML. But today we'll talk about the how to write the HTML codes, uh, how to write HTML tags and all. Before we start the HTML code, we have to know about the HTML tags. HTML tags are element names surrounded by angle brackets. Element names mean we have talked about their, those earlier video. Element names like uh, HTML head title p h1 h2 so much of element names are there so we are using those element names to create tags in our html we have the syntax to write their own way or grammatical way first we have to write the html tag name then you have to write our content what we want to be present in our browser and again we have to close our tag name Normally HTML tags are come with the pairs. If we have one of the tag name, it will have the same like the closing tag. So for the example, if you are using uh, if you are using paragraph tag to write your paragraph, you have to close that paragraph by using the closing tag. Normally in the in that pair, the first tag will be the start tag and second one is the end tag. End tag also same like the start tag, but difference is we are inserting the forward slash to close our tag normally starting tag is called as opening tag and ending tag is called as a closing tag okay guys now we look at the one of the example from this html look at this example in this html code i have defined in the very first line as a doc type html and after that I have defined a HTML tag, then head tag, then title tag, body tag, after that h1 and paragraph. So look at this code. In the very first line I have defined as a doc type HTML. Actually this is not a HTML tag. This is we are instructing to the browser what kind of HTML version is used to create this page. Then only our browser will render the correct information to us. This doc type HTML we are defining like this in HTML5 but if we are using the HTML4 or something we have to define another way doc type HTML and we have defined as a DTD and reference. So in our HTML5 is not like that because HTML4 is based on SGML but HTML5 is not based on SGML so we no need to write those DTD also. Then HTML is a root element. That's why we are inserting the second line. Very first line we have defined the doc type HTML. Then after that we are defining HTML tag. See that HTML tag also has the closing tag. So all the tags have the closing tags here. So we are defining that opening tag and closing tag. Inside of that we are writing our content. So this, this HTML tag is called as a root element or root tag. After that only we, oh, we are writing other tags like our head tag and body tag. Head tag contains uh, meta elements or meta tags, meta informations like keywords, descriptions, those kind of things. Those are used for SEO purposes of the page or site. And after that we are inserting the or we are adding the title also here. Title means you can see this title in your browser tab. I have defined here like a foresight institute between the title tags you can see this output in your tab of your browser same like that I am writing other elements like h1 p or if you are inserting any images or you are going to use inside of your body tag body will be represent in your browser page here I have used h1 it is uh, and I have typed welcome to foresight institute it will be the title or it will be the heading because I have used here h1 tag it will be representing the or it will be giving the large font size or you can use h1 or h2 or h3 or h4 there are six different kinds of heading tags then I have defined the paragraph tag one line paragraph here this is my first paragraph so it will be represented like one of the small line small size of font now look at the output of this page output of this code it will be like this you can see here the way in the tab you are seeing or you are now you are seeing foresight institute because we have written in our title tag 
After that, you are seeing here. Welcome to Foresight Institute. It is written inside of the head one or sorry, heading tag H1 tag. Then this is my first paragraph you have written inside of your paragraph tag. We look at the description. This so I have already said about this. Just we look at the description here. The doc type HTML. It is a declaration defi defines this document to HTML file. I, as as I said earlier, we are defining or uh, we are instructing the browser what kind of version of HTML that we are using to create this page. Then next one is that the HTML element is the root element of an HTML page. Now we have to write the HTML tag when we start to write our HTML page because we are starting our HTML page by using this HTML tag. The head tag or that the head element contains the meta information about the document. As I said before, we are using this head element or head tag to SEO purposes because we are adding the meta elements or meta tags for SEO purposes for like as, as like a keywords, the SEO descriptions, those kind of things are used for our SEO purposes. Then title element specifies a title for the document. The body element contains the visible page content. You saw that H1 paragraph, uh, those were defined inside of this body tag. Then H1 element defines the large heading. Then uh, the paragraph element defines a paragraph. So some other kind of HTML text for the example. HTML as we have talked about that, head we have talked about that, title also we have talked about that and body then H1 to H6, paragraph, span, image, video, table, order list, unorder list, be, uh, data list, horizontal line, uh, break, bold, italic, underline, uh, divisions, caption tags and etc. There are so much of tags in tags are available in our HTML. We have to use those tags to create our uh, we have to use those kind of tags to represent our page. Well guys, this was all about this video. In the next video, we'll talk about something new than this. Until then, keep learning. Thank you very much for watching.